So you've heard of the game Wordle, but have you heard of Nerdle? Nerdle is just like Wordle, except you're doing it with numbers and with math. In Wordle, you write a word, but in Nerdle, you write an equation. It could be an addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. If you play it on the website, there's a different equation every day. Start as you would with Wordle by writing an equation. In this case, I always like to use the same equation, which is 12 plus 35 equals 47. We hit enter, and just like in Wordle, if you see something in green, that means it's correct and in the right spot. If you see something in red, that means it's used, but in the wrong spot, if it turns black, that means it's not in the equation at all. So immediately a few things pop up. Number one is you see this plus sign is in black. So that tells us that this equation does not have an addition in it. So that means the equation is subtraction, division, or multiplication. You see the equals. There's always an equal in every equation. It's always something and something else equals something. There's no, there's no equation on the right side of the equal sign. But the fact that the equal sign there is red tells me that it's not going to be a two-digit answer. It's going to be a three-digit number at the end. So let's try a different number. Since we know 7 and 1 are in it, let's go 7, 1. And let's try minus and we haven't tried the 6 or the 0 yet, so 71 minus 60 equals, well, the equal sign is going to be wrong in the wrong spot, but let's say 11. Let's see, see where all the numbers are coming from. But we now know that we're not using the 6 or the 0 either, and the 1 and the 7 are still in the wrong spot. So since we know that 4 is correct, let's see if there's other 4. So let's go 44, and let's also go times to see if there's multiplication. And since we know the equal sign isn't there, maybe we're just multiplying it by a single digit. So seven equals, and I can believe that means 308. Let's just see what happens there. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. We know that the equal sign is correct, uh, but all these digits are wrong. We know that the multiplication is there. It's just in the wrong spot. So let's try to move the multiplication here. We haven't used nine yet, so there's nine, nine times, so that's moving that. Let's try to use that seven and that two in another spot. We know that there's an equal sign there, and then nine times 72, I believe that is 648. It's not gonna be totally right, because I know there's a six and an eight, but let's figure out. Okay, so now we've got a little bit more of the equation figured out. We know it's going to be a single number times 72 is going to equal a three-digit number where the middle number is right there. Now, this is where it becomes interesting because if you want to do the math, you could say, well, 72, we know that there's a two in this equation because we now know all the numbers. Everything is made with a, a one, a two, a four, and a seven. We've tried the one here, that's not it. We've tried a one here, that's not it. So we know it's gonna be times 140 something. And, it, and if you do the math, you would go, well, two times 72 equals 144. That seems to fit all the pieces equals, there we go. There's a new one every day, just like Wordle. It's fun, I hope you enjoy it. Have a good day.